Moitre Shibilski is the editor-in-chief of the Visigunard Insight and joins us live from Warsaw. Good to speak to you. So how does this move affect the independence of the judiciary as the EC claims? Well, the move of the Polish government uh, is in, in uh, jeopardizes the independence of, of the judicial branch because it violates the, prince, the, the, the core and direct lines of the constitution, so the fundamental law. The, according to fundamental law, the, the president of the Supreme Court, uh, the Supreme Court uh, so President Justice, is supposed to step down according to the term prescribed by the Constitution in 2020. But the government would like to her uh, to her, her to step down already this year because of the of the age restriction. Um, it's important that the that the European Commission takes action swiftly and much quicker than in the case of Hungary, where similar similar um, actions ousted the part of the uh, part of the court, um, and uh, uh, it, that they were they were damaging to the independence of the court system in in Hungary. Here we have a swift action that may stop the the government from executing the law. So Poland says it's trying to remove judges who were active under the old communist regime. What do you make of that? That's not true. So Poland might That's be violating the principles of the EU, but yeah, how far can the EU go in taking action? With sanctions on Hungary already, plus Britain leaving, will more punitive action against the member state not simply threaten the unity of the bloc? Well, uh, the punitive actions um, that are prescribed by the Treaty of the European Union should not be uh, expected too soon, uh, if at all, because it's, it, they require unanimous uh, vote in the, in the Council. However, there is indirect effect. Poland is being sidelined in the EU in the crucial moments when the decisions about the future of the Union, the, the, uh, the upcoming reforms, the upcoming elections and the EU budget negotiations uh, are taking place. So the EU, um, EU Commission has important instruments and the EU Council has important instruments in combating the, the illiberal uh, tendency uh, in, in the Polish government. But the, cru the crucial element here is the European Court of Justice that can uh, issue uh, uh, suspension of the, of the law, uh, which, which if, if it is declared to be uh, seriously jeopardizing the, the independence of the ju judiciary, and this is very much expected. The Polish government, on the other hand, sent mixed signals about whether it's going to um, to, to adhere, to, to listen to such a verdict, but uh, it is, uh, when, when it comes to the European Court of Justice, it is striking that the, the more conciliatory note is heard from, from Warsaw. Yes, thank you for that, Wojciech Szybelski.